Let us pray. In today's Gospel, we are invited to a joyous feast, a wedding feast, an invitation to life. When there is so much suffering and hardship, it is easy to lose hope and forget God's promise to be with us always and never to forsake us. May we be signs of love and hope in our communities by always showing compassion and care to those most in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the leadership of Pope Francis and pray that the world may be open to the message proclaimed in his third encyclical, Fratelli Tutti, where he speaks of how a community can be rebuilt by men and women who identify with the vulnerability of others, who reject the creation of a society of exclusion and act instead as neighbours, lifting up and rehabilitating the fallen for the sake of the common good. Grant us the grace to create a different culture in which we resolve our conflicts and care for one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our church community, may we be fruitful producing a harvest rich in justice, compassion, mercy and forgiveness, showing Christ to all around us, remembering that even in our darkest moments, love gives hope. Love compels us to stand together in prayer with our neighbours, near and far. May the love that never fails continue to be shared through the kindness of strangers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for health workers tending the seriously ill, for scientists working on a vaccination, for those who are already anxious, for those watching their entire income stream dry up, for those who have no choice but to go out to work. For those who are afraid to be at home. For those who are more lonely than they've ever been. And for those who are bereaved and grieving. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our young people in schools, colleges, and universities. We pray especially for those leaving home and starting university for the first time. May they not be discouraged and learn to trust the Holy Spirit in their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, at home or in hospital, May they be comforted by the knowledge of the love and care and prayers of family and friends. We pray especially for... Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember in love those who have died, especially... Grant them eternal peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.